it's Julie here from Fruity Fit. Hope you're feeling fine and dandy on this damp morning. So I thought I'd just drop in. We've just done our back to basics session. It's a session where we break the exercises down because it's very much about you versus you. And I usually try and drop in here from time to time just to demonstrate that because I think it's really important to understand that when you go on a fitness journey or a health journey, um, that you can do it and you can adapt it to where you are in life. And I think sometimes it's just really easy, you know, at this time of the year that we end up doing things for somebody else or we try and chase somebody else's dreams. How many times do we sit over the Christmas holiday and look at the media and look at all these fine and dandy people who look fit, healthy um, and we live for that aspiration we think we should we should be looking like that or we should have that bikini body or or we should have a fast car like that we we look at other people's lives and we think ah oh, that's where i should be living my life and i think when you're setting your goals be it health fitness professional, whatever your personal goals are, make sure that they're your goals. Because if you're trying to live somebody else's goals, somebody else's dream, somebody else's aspiration, it's not going to be important enough so that when life gets challenging and you're trying to pursue that goal, you'll get knocked off and distracted and it'll be more difficult to pursue that goal. It's really important to drill down into the why are you doing this? And, and no less with your fitness journey. You know, why do you want to get fit? What is that driver that's gonna get you up in the morning or get you to a session at the end of a long working day? What is it? Why do you want to do it? And I just thought I'd share it because, you know, at this time of the year, we, we get into that place of New Year's resolutions. We, we set all sorts, don't we? Did you know that 85% of people actually, they stop their New Year's resolution by the end of January, they don't continue it on. And that's because changing habits are so challenging to do. So another reason why it's really important to really get into the why are you doing what you're pursuing, that goal, what that dream is, why do you want to do it? Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. So back to basics this morning. We looked at bicycle crunch. So bicycle crunch is ordinarily done on the floor and, and you're bringing your hands up to your head and you're lying on the floor and you're bringing your knee up to your elbow, knee up to your elbow. So that relies on an awful lot of criteria and factors to enable you to do that. You know, one of the factors is can you actually get on the floor is the first thing. And then the second thing is, is your core strong enough so that when you're doing that, you're not putting a strain on your back. And then the third factor to keep into consideration is what's the strain on your neck um, when you're doing that exercise. So what we do within Back to Basics is we break the exercises down because it doesn't mean that you can't do that exercise. So I was gonna give you a quick demonstration of how that particular exercise can be broken down. So it can be done on the wall, it can be done on the chair, which is what I'm gonna show you in a moment. And then there's a variety of versions that you can do on the floor so that you can do the exercise according to your your capability at this precise moment. So if you're gonna do it on the chair, so you can actually break it into two parts. You know, we sometimes fall into that place of, if you've had an injury, be it upper or lower, that you think you're not capable of doing exercise, where actually you can focus on the other part of the body. So, you know, if we think about this exercise, we can break this down. So we're gonna put our hands on the side of our head. Now, there's a lot of schools of thought about bringing your hands and interlocking them behind your head, but what that can do is actually you end up putting a strain on your neck and pulling your neck forward. So by putting your hands on the side of your head, it avoids doing that. So you're gonna be here. So first half of this exercise is just twisting and bringing that elbow forward, twisting, bringing that elbow forward. So you're keeping your back straight, your head, your shoulders are all in line and you're reaching across with that elbow and back, reaching across and back. 
So if you think, yeah, that's, that's okay, I can do that. The other half of the exercise is your legs. So you can hold onto a chair if you feel that you need to do that. And you can bring your knee up and down, up and down. Make sure that your core is engaged when you do that. Bringing that knee up, bringing that knee up. And once you've, once you've mastered that, you've got everything in line, your shoulders are back, your core is engaged, and you think, yeah, no, I can do this. You can then bring the two together and bring your elbow to your knee, elbow to your knee. So actually, even if you can't get on the floor to do this exercise, you can still do it. You really need to focus in making sure that that core is engaged. Imagine there's somebody behind you trying to pull on your stomach muscles from behind. You're really tense in that area, really getting a muscle-mind connection. And you can do this for 45 seconds and then have a break and go again if you wish. So that's an example of how we broke that down in Back to Basics this morning. If you're interested in any of the workouts that we do or coming along and finding out a bit, bit more, then we do have a 28 day kickstart program. Just comment in the messages below. Hope that has been useful. Whatever you're doing today, whatever your New Year's resolutions are, make sure they're your New Year's resolutions and you're not doing it for somebody else. And just get really down into the detail. What's the action you're gonna to take today to make that New Year's resolution happen? Okay then, will you have a good day? I will see you soon. Take care now, bye.